Hello all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jolie and today I wanted to do a little summer 2024 lookbook of what I've been wearing and what I plan to wear. I feel like this year I've really gotten comfortable in like my staples and like what I reach for when I get dressed. And I think it's kind of drastically different from the lookbook I did last year, like the spring summer one, I think. And I don't know, I just wanted to share like my inspo and I don't know, maybe inspire some of y'all. So this is outfit one, but it's not done. Cause I'm gonna show you how to make micro shorts just out of regular micro shorts. So this, t this like thick waistband, I literally just take it in. And I try to make sure that it like lays flat as possible. I also tuck in the bottom to make it even more of a short, short look. And I like this because I can control how much, like, because I don't want my butt cheeks to show under, so I can control how much you can see. Look, isn't that so much cuter? Like, genuinely. Look, it's like the perfect fit so yeah, this is outfit one. And there are a lot of shoe options that I would match with this. Let's see the shoe options. So I'm gonna add my accessories real quick and then come back. I changed the shoes. I made the boots. This third fit is just to show y'all how versatile these shorts are to me. They work with the red shorts too that I wanted to try. I think you could try these with any shorts that are like spandexy and they will look pretty good. This next outfit, I just love. I've worn it so many times. It's a staple, like the silhouette is a staple for me. I've worn this outfit twice within the past two months. Like, I just love this outfit so much. It's this skater skirt with an oversized t-shirt with my lovely Converse, some white socks, and then some jewelry. I even like it a lot with the slick back. Like, this whole outfit, I just love it. If I was a cartoon character, I would just want to be in this outfit just because it's practical, it's cute, it's comfy, it's cozy, it's girly, but it's chill. Like, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. For this outfit, or just in general, for this piece, this is like a big foundational piece in my wardrobe right now just because it's the best fitting shirt on me. I accidentally got a size too small and I didn't realize how good it would fit. I don't have a pair of shoes to go with this. When I said I had no shoes for this outfit, I immediately thought of these flats because they have a little gold embellishment and I love this because it's like girly, but I don't know, it feels grounded. I think it's because the black. I kind of like it like this, a little plain. I don't know, I've been kind of liking like a very basic plain look. Let me show you another two ways you can style this top. I was going to show y'all these greens or these gray slacks. I like the low waist look. I just probably would have to wear a heel with this. I don't know how I feel about the pants just because the crotch is so low, but when I pick it up, it's so high. And I just wish this part was a pure one. This is definitely gonna be the third way, but the second way that is Jolie approved. Honestly, out of all the ways I styled this shirt, this one's my favorite. I love the way it fits just right here. But if I want to like show more skin, I can just pull and tuck and it still looks good. But Really, really like, like it's the perfect, like, beautiful. You could do any shoe with this, and it would either dress it up or make it casual. Like, if I put my Cortezes on, it would be more casual, but if I put on, like, flats or my boots, I could dress it up, and, like, I added earring. Oh, I just love this outfit. One more outfit with this top, just so I can introduce the ever-so-hyped capris. Look at that. Outfit. I got both these pieces at Cotton On, so yes. I love the fitment. And right now, I'm gonna try the tucking anything. 
and this is the garlic of the tucked in. I could definitely tuck it in better when I actually wear it out, but yes. And it makes the fit better. I can also see this outfit with these boots as well. So, yeah. You're starting to see some recurring characters and that's why I love my wardrobe right now because I feel like everything just mixes and meshes so well. But here's another outfit. It's the gray top again. I love this top. I, I love the way it fits my arms. I love when it fits red hips. I love these pants and the shirts. This is definitely a Nike Cortez outfit. So this would be my bride. Ooh, I feel like this would be really good if I had straight hair and like a baseball cap. Really cute. Ooh, I like this outfit. And I also feel like it could work with my green if I accessorize right. I feel like it's not a summer lookbook without like a white tee. And this is my favorite white t-shirt ever. It's from Airy. It's like a brand of Aeropostale. I just like the way it fits. I like that it's not too tight. And I don't know, I like the material too. I could see myself wearing this with so many shoes. With the flex. I feel like this is really cute. But also with like any pair of sneakers, I feel like this would look really good. And a belt, like a nice black belt would look really good. And this look back is good. Like I like this look back with the belt. I have this system. I really like this outfit. It's giving like yoga mom in the best way possible. It's giving like Pilates. It's giving walking my dog. Like, I really, really like this. I feel like I will look cute with a belt. Too lazy to actually buckle it. But imagine. I'm loving the outfits I'm making with this white t shirt. Because all of these have been marinating in my mind but have not been produced. So, I don't know what shoes I would wear with these. I wish I had a pair of brown boots. Oh, I do, but they're short and I don't want them. But this might be one of the next outfits I wear, honestly. It's super cute, super flattering. Two more bottoms that I'm gonna pair with this white t-shirt. This and this. This is also super cute. Imagine these with the white socks I had on earlier with the black boots. With like either straight hair or my curly hair. I really like how flattering everything is and I'm so grateful that I learned that baggy is not always the way and that it's okay for clothes to get tight. So I really like this. This is life proof that your vision doesn't always come out as you plan it. And I don't know if I like this. I feel like it's two different shades of white and two different materials so it's cute in theory but I don't know how I feel about it in practice. It makes you really think. So I, I really thought this was going to be cute, and I'm not going to lie, this apartment. This needs to be like higher up with this white top, because down here, maybe I'm just being very picky. It's not put down here, I think. Like, here, I feel like it looks better. I'm going to put a pin in this outfit. Okay, I'm disappointed again. This is not kind of the vision I was going for. I think it's because this shirt is large, and the skirt is not long enough oh my god the proportion the proportions are so bad <laughs> wow Ooh. genuinely disgusted at this fit <laughs> so really makes you think. this outfit is cute and i'm not trying to brag on myself but this is giving a little bit of gta stripper hooker but it's cute it's cute to redeem myself from my last two flops but this is definitely like my club vibe like i love a good mini skirt and tall boots when i go to the club this top i kind of have outgrown it so i would only wear it to the club we are approaching the final two outfits so another the gray top is back the gray top is back the gray top is back because it's cute we're in the skirt again this is getting very casual but I like the fitment because I was going to say, I don't know the final color shirt fits with the skirt, but I do like the fitment, especially if I make the skirt more fit -like. It looks really cute. I feel like this would be cute with straight or curly hair. Like, just hair needs to be out. 
Y'all thought that little pink top black skirt was UTA stripper? This is giving denim tuxedo cowboy UTA stripper, but in the best way possible, I did not think this outfit would come out this cute. Only thing is, where am I gonna wear this? But the outfit is. I feel like this eats. I feel like this eats. I, I have to say it. Like, even without the jacket. Maybe I can wear this to the beach. Just looking extra as hell to the beach for no reason. And I think it also looks pretty good with the, the slip back. And then my other alternative is with these low rise flare jeans. A little too lazy to put them on, but this has to be one of my favorite outfits of this whole video. Like, I did not think I would like it this much, but I really do. And I'm happy about it. I am. This is also like my first time trying on this jacket. I got it from a flea market. I haven't tried it on yet. And it fits so well, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, y'all, and that was it. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I really hope you got some inspiration from this and I hope you enjoyed. I want to make more of these because I love playing in my closet. It's so fun to make these outfits, especially because it's like I'm making these outfits with my own clothes. So it's like I have these pre-planned outfits and I don't have to stress about what I'm going to wear because that is a big problem for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bad girl. Bad. Bad.